Hello and welcome. You are here with me, Jill Maurer, for Monday Musing 52. You know what that means. This is my 364th video for the year 2019. I only have one video left, just tomorrow's video. That will make 365 and I will have completed my challenge to upload a video every single day for 2019. That is amazing to me. I am so glad I am about to make it. It has been rough. It has definitely been a long haul and I am so grateful that you were here with me on this journey. Last week, one of your favorite Stani Grissom was here and we talked about the jewelry design periods. We just talked about each of the design periods, what we liked best from each period, what we would collect from each period, and we also revealed what our favorite jewelry design periods are. I am so delighted that a lot of you liked that video. When we did it, after we talked about it, I thought, wow, that was really geeky. That was 30 minutes of geeky. And Donnie and I talked longer than that. I think it was about 30 minutes edited. It might've been 20, 25, 30, but it was a long time and that was edited down. We chatted for quite a long time and I love jewelry. Donnie loves jewelry. We chat about it all the time but I wasn't sure how much you would like it. There weren't any photographs. We literally just chatted about jewelry. A lot of you really liked it. I'm so delighted. You are definitely my people. You are our people. <laughs> we had a great time doing that video and we're so glad that you enjoyed it. Sarah Tudor was also here with me for two videos. You don't know her as well, but she's been with me for quite a while. She was here at the beginning of the year for the Bang Mary Kill video, and she came back to do three videos. Two of them were this week. Last week, I think it was last week, she introduced me to the away luggage. And then this week, we had fun with slang, with millennial slang, and then more Gen X and even older slang. And then we did the video on her guessing the 80s relics. And I think she did a good job. I think she did a pretty good job. There were some funny things that she didn't know. And a lot of times when millennials see stuff on television or in the movies, they'll know what it is, but then if you ask them to use it, they wouldn't really have any idea how to use it. And I didn't have the items here, but we were able to talk a little bit about how would you use this thing. And that's where some of it sometimes broke down a little bit, but she did a great job. I also reviewed my Louis Vuitton Zoe wallet. It is a small wallet and it is the wallet that I have been using every day. This coming year, I am going to, now that I'll have a little more time, not doing a video every day, I am going to think about selling a few pieces and maybe even more than a few, we'll see, because I would like to buy some more things, but I feel like I can't really do that unless I sell more. So I may do some sales on YouTube and I, I had asked you that in the past, whether I should should just go ahead and sell them the way I normally do or if you wanted me to offer them on YouTube. I don't even have a PayPal account so there's a lot that I would have to set up in order to be able to sell them on YouTube but most of you said you would like to be offered them before I sold them through Fashion File or The Real Real. So I will likely do that. I am a little bit tentative about that. One of the things I like about selling through resellers is you just send it to them and you don't even think about it. You know I'll have to think about the shipping and figuring out how to get the money and you you know, all of that stuff. But I know that that's something that you would prefer that I at least offer it to you. And I think that I will do that. I will start getting together some items that I'm ready to let go of. Of course, we also talked jewelry. We talked about the difference between an amulet, a talisman, and a charm. That was fun. That was a fun video for me to do. A lot of people don't know the difference and they'll use the words interchangeably. And that's really okay. I mean, because most people are just thinking about it as a decorative piece. They're not necessarily thinking about the lore or the spiritual part behind them. Some people care, some people don't at all. They just like the item, but it is kind of fun. I always love looking at prehistoric jewelry especially and imagining what they thought of the pieces. And a lot of that has been carried forward. So that was a lot of fun for me to do. We also talked about rough, rough gems, and we will just say rough. You know, if somebody is asking if you want to buy rough or that kind of thing. That's all we use is rough. And that refers to rough gemstones. Gemstones just as they come out of the earth. One of the funny things about that that I touched on in the video is watching movies and seeing how they will say that they discovered a diamond and it's, you know, completely fast 
faceted and polished in the whole thing, and that's just how they found it right out of the ground. I always think that is so funny, and I don't know if other people, if they get how funny that is, or if it just seems like, oh yeah, there's a diamond. Even in cartoons, well, and especially in cartoons, if you think about Snow White, when the seven dwarves are in their mining, just right in the mine walls, they have all of those stones already cut and faceted. All they have to do is chip them out and take them out of the wall and pop them in a ring and they're ready to go. You may be wondering, is this the final Monday Musing? I have been trying to decide for a while, you know, sort of how to deal with the Monday Musings going forward and there were a few options. I'm gonna tell you what I've decided to do for now is I will continue with Monday Musings. I am just not going to commit to doing a Monday Musing every Monday and to make sure that that doesn't become a thing with me because I can get obsessed about making sure that I follow through on things, I am going to take next Monday off. So I will be back two weeks from now. In fact, I'm going to take two weeks off in general. I don't think I'll be posting anything between now and two weeks from now, other than tomorrow. I'll do tomorrow and then after that it'll be two weeks. There may be something that I post, but I'm not sure. I'm not planning on doing that. I just just need a little break. So that's the deal. I will just keep going with Monday Musings. I won't commit to doing them every week. I might do them twice a month. I might do them three times a month. I might do them four times a month. We'll see. For now, what I think I'm going to do is sneeze. Thank you! Pardon me. Whew. I don't even know where that came from. This is the part of the video where I would be talking about what's coming up next week. Nothing. Nothing is coming up next week. I will be taking next week off and likely the week after that. Thank you again for being here. You mean so much to me. I am so grateful that you are here. And this is the last time I will be able to say this for quite some time. Until tomorrow. Bye.